Hey, so welcome back again. This is your boy Adam Sling. How you doing now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're so watching this video from. Let's talk about the VMAs. Hmm? VMAs, guys. Something really awkward happened recently, and a uh, lot of us who are pioneers, yes, I, I will call ourselves pioneers of Afrobeat, pioneers of Nigeria, Africa, music. We are pioneers. We are those people. Uh, we are the long line of uh, uh, people, set of people who have kind of like, in a way, contributed to Afrobeat, talking about it and also hyping it up. So, we are the pioneers. Somehow, somehow, you must not be a musician to be a pioneer when it comes to Afrobeat. Well, at the MTV MV, yeah, MTV VMAs 2024, the list of nominations are out. The MTV Music Video Music Award, the nominations are out. And when it comes to Afro Beat category, do you know the stars who are dominating Afro Beat category? Chris Brown and Usher. Chris Brown, Usher, and Tyler. Are the stars dominating Afrobeat category? Afrobeat category was meant for Nigeria, Africa. But because we are running away from it now, I've said it before, a time will come in the next coming years when you see Afrobeat category in any music nomination. You will see big, big stars first, America stars first, and you will not see a single Nigeria because we are abandoning our sound. And it all started from Bonner Boy, started from Whiskey, and so many, or many other guys, uh, guys who don't want to be associated with Afrobeat. And again, since you guys are bringing Whiskey, uh, bringing Usher, and Chris Brown into Afrobeat. It is also great. You take David O, Bona, Rema, Asake, Whiskey, and join them all to also into R&B, into uh, pop music, into other category in the white land. Because now you guys brought Usher and uh, Chris Brown because they did something similar to Afrobeat. Because they featured Afrobeat artists, Abi. So, so many of our, of our artists have featured American artists before. So, it's about time you also balance it. Just exactly what Whiskey said. You guys cannot box them on one category. There are other categories as well. They have featured so many international artists. Also, put them in those categories. I kind of like understand, but I am still kind of like skeptical and not really comfortable with OSHA. And Chris Brown being among Afrobeat category. Check it out. They said MVP, M M VMA's best Afrobeat nominee. You see Aria Star, Futuri, uh, Aria Star. There you see Bonner Boy standing alone. There you see Chris Brown, Futuri, David Doe, uh, Loye, Loje. There you see Thames Baby, Tyler, Osha, and Fields. So the question is, what is Chris Brown doing here? What is Tyler doing here? What is Osha doing here? And don't be so surprised. The, this, uh, this award might be won by either Chris Brown or Osha or Tyler. Totally taking away our heritage. After all, when Afrobeat artists were doing much of our piano, South Africa immediately screamed all the way from say SA. We heard it here loud and clear that I'm a piano is not an Afrobeat. It's not for Afrobeat. It's not associated with Nigerians. That I'm a piano is South Africa. And they do not want I'm a piano to leave South Africa. They shouted it, they screamed it loud and clear. Despite we were assisting to bring I'm a piano up. To make it more vibrant, you know, for people to listen to it well. They say lie lie, say they know they're not agree. They say lie lie, say they're not agree. So they want us to stay away from our piano. 
So it's also good now. Tyler, sorry, you cannot win an Afrobeat uh, uh, song. But if you win it, though, good and fine. It shows you how accommodating we are as Nigerians. Unlike you guys, who someone who was born in uh, South Africa, you guys said uh, that person cannot win a beauty pageant in your whole country. Hmm? You guys said the lady we cannot win a beauty pageant in your home country because it is not original South Africa enough. Ah, can you imagine? Original South Africa is not that enough to be able to win a beauty pageant in South Africa. So, but we, we are accommodating, guys. Nigerians are very, very accommodating. We are going to allow you guys to, of course, be among the category. We are not going to blast you. We are not going to... But it is good. We, also, we know the origin of Afrobeat. The origin of Afrobeat, it is good we know the origin so that we will not forget where it comes from. So that there will be no issue about claiming Afrobeat by other nationals. We will not forget where it comes from, where it, it actually originated from. It is good not to forget. We will not forget. But it's all love though, like I said before. It's all love. Nigerians are accommodating people. We can share. We can share. There is enough room. But I'm not just comfortable with it. I'm just share, saying it. It's not as if there's anything anything can happen. Since you guys are nominating other international artists under Afrobeat, it is also right you nominate Nigeria artists all under your categories as well. Well, Let's move past that. I want to talk about this woman. She is trending currently. She is representing USA at France Olympic. Her name is Aneti Ichuku Woke. Aneti Uchuku Woke. That's her name. Uchuku Woke. Igbo name. Aneti. Also, somehow, uh, Ijo uh, Kalaba kind of name. Aneti. Well, guess what? Aneti was in Nigeria last year, no, 2020, to represent Nigeria at the Olympic as a then. Because of technical issues by Nigeria officials, they refused or they forgot to add her name to the list of athletes who will be representing Nigeria. And she practiced and practiced, submitted her name and everything, and she was chosen. But some officials didn't do their job well in Nigeria to put her name there. But guess what? In 2024, when she decided to seek another opportunity in her second country, because Nigeria is her first country, USA is her second country, guess what? The USA embraced an entity. Her name wasn't missing on, on that list. Her name was there. The official did their job diligently, submitted everything needed to be submitted, and she represented and won a medal for USA. I just want you to look the scenario to know how a country can frustrate you and how another country can uplift you. So that you can know the problem we are facing. It is not only about hunger in Nigeria. It's about killing of dreams. It's about the system does not enable you to succeed. The only thing that the system enables you to do somehow is to do yahoo yahoo. Well, they said, according to the article by ESPN Africa said, Aneti Iche Kuwoke was sent to represent Nigeria at the 2020 Olympic, but was disqualified along with nine other athletes after failing to undergo mandatory tests due to an error by the Athletes Federation of Nigeria. She then changed her allegiance to the United States to compete at Paris 2024. Now, she can call herself an Olympic medalist after winning silver in the women's hammer throw. Yeah. 
one country drag you down and the other country lift you up. One country drag your life down. It keep in fact, eh, no matter as you walk. This this girl now, that's the mentality. That's the mentality she has now. That Nigeria will continuously to drag your life down. Meanwhile, USA will continue to uplift. It's just our officials. Nigerians do not want you to succeed. It's not only, I, I don't want to say federal government. Officials are Nigerians. That elected uh, Federation of Nigeria, they are Nigerians who are working there. If they are not Machine, they are Nigerians who have refused to do their jobs. Our brother wants to drag us down. That is the system of Nigeria. That is just how it is. It's not federal government. Though. I'm not calling on anybody. That was Buhari regime. I'm not calling on any federal government. It was Nigeria not doing their job. Nigerians want to drag your life to the mud. That's just how it is. Don't allow bad country to stop you from realizing your the country that you are supposed to be. Hmm? Don't allow it. Well, thank you guys for watching the boy guard. I'll see you next time. Peace.